What's up, nerds? So, I want to start off today by giving a thank you to Victoria. Can I call you Vicky? No, absolutely not. We want to thank Victoria for being somebody who was nice to us all the time. Oh. This sounds so cliche. Like, LA is so cutthroat and everyone uses you and whatever. It is true. People only value you for what you can provide to them as opposed to just being like nice, just for being nice. And Victoria has always been someone who's nice to us. Doesn't ask us for anything or nothing and it's just cool. So you guys are gonna leave a like and say thank you Victoria in the comments. Um, and now that I'm done being nice, now I'm gonna grill her about astrology because she still believes in it. I will not back down from trying to destroy astrology. Sorry, because I believe that it's almost harmful in a way where it causes people to have negative predispositions towards people they've never met before. You know me, I'm a big lover. So I want people to get along. Just because he was nice in the intro, don't be fooled. I'm actually crazy. No, but I just think that there's ways that it can be harmful and destructive. It hinders people from having real relationships occasionally. How confident are you in astrology that it's real? I think it's fake and you think it's real. Do you think there's a chance you could be wrong? No. Okay. And why is that? I don't know. I just had like personal experiences. Like I used to not believe in astrology either because I'm a Pisces and I was like a hard ass kid growing up. I'm like, I'm not emotional. What? Like I never cried in my life. The older I get, the more or like I feel like there's like sides of me that were like suppressed and I might have like not thought it was like cool to be emotional so I would suppress it but now that I'm like okay like these are just like normal feelings to feel and like it just kind of adds up astrology is not like one thing like it's not just like your main sign there's other signs behind it and I feel like that's what tied it in together for me and I hear a lot from a lot of people about how you're not just one sign you don't think it's possible that everyone just has random personalities that are affected by their environment or their friends or where they grew up you don't think that that no that's 100% like that's a real thing. I feel like it's more of like interconnected to like other people It's kind of how like you and I would get along like what's your style of like communication? I feel like your reaction to something might not be the same as mine And that's because like of the way we're predetermined to but also like I don't believe like hundred percent Just because like someone's a certain sign it shouldn't justify their actions. It helps you understand yourself more Okay, yeah, so people shouldn't be saying oh Sorry, I'm always late. I'm a, I'm a asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> you are, would you say a Pisces? Yes. Would you say that you're adaptable? Yeah. Would you say that you are outgoing? I'm looking at positive traits here. What do you think? I think so, yeah. I think so. But would you say you're intelligent? Um, I mean, I did get a full ride for academics. She did. <laughs> there's no denying that. And now there's some weaknesses here. Would you say that you're indecisive? Yes, like 100% my friends always yell at me. Would you say that you're impulsive? Yes. Unreliable and nosy. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, Wait, that's really accurate. Are you just like throwing those out? I just read all the traits of a Gemini. Wait, that's, no, 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 that's my rising. I knew, Wait, hold I knew on. he was gonna no, do something like that. No, that's my rising. That means how other people perceive you. Okay, so see basically right here on the top, it says Pisces, that's my sun, Capricorn's my moon, and Gemini's my rising. Stop the cap. So like your rising is how like other people perceive you. And then moon is how you perceive yourself deep on the inside. Like I might not seem like I have my shit together, but then like on the inside, everything is like strategized. But if you Capricorn. agree to those traits, does that now mean that that's how you see yourself? No, but I can like, because of what people have told me, I agree, like I am indecisive. The point that I was trying to do by that was trying to be like, hey, in reference to the Barnum effect, which we can pop up there if y'all want to read, broad overarching character traits about people that they can quickly agree with because they're true for everybody. But I'm going to humor you and go along with what you're saying. The rising, falling, those things, I don't know much about it, but that's dependent on what time you're born, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, let's say this is a womb, okay? The baby's about to be born. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. Okay. I kind of want to draw you as an underdeveloped fetus. Is that okay? That's fucked up. Ew, can you draw me cute? Ew. That's, so this is Victoria. <laughs> Absolutely not. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll make you a little bit more developed. Let's do a stick figure to help us out. No. What? Ugly too. You I'll happy. give you some ass. <laughs> it looks like a belly. Give it another cheek. Or a... Oh, yeah. Cool. You were this thick at like one minute old? I mean, the world may even know, but... Okay, here we go. This is the womb. Your mother's about to give birth, okay? This is her spot right here. Leg, leg. Sorry. All right. Boom. Let's say you're born. So, boom. Be wrong. My mom had a C-section. Okay. Well, let, let, <laughs> let's humor and say it was a regular okay. uh, birth, whatever. I was a C-section too. Probably why we get along so well. 
Probably. Fuck the science. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. What you're telling me here is at the moment you're born, that is when it's decided that, okay, now you're going to be apparently this no. trait. What's the difference between you here and you here? The only difference is maybe a layer of skin or one minute or whatever. You're still the same being. Wouldn't it make more sense that your sign would be uh, determined with the space of stars at the time of your conception, like when you were first created, as opposed to all that's happening here is you moving from one ounce of skin to the next. So why then do all the stars and planets and Saturn now start affecting you here at this moment, right when you're out, as opposed to right here? Because you're not connected to your mom anymore. So is that at the moment the, that the umbilical cord is cut? Mm -hmm. That's what I would, yeah. So right at that moment, SNP is now the planet. You're your own thing, organism. And do you see how that concept is a little bit far Three, Yeah. When do you actually determine it? Like, yeah, when well, don't you think the gravitational effect that the doctor has on your ass is stronger than Saturn? What's gonna make Saturn not only your personality, but how people perceive you? That seems awfully complex for a planet to do. Yeah. There seems like there's too many variables here and well, is it planets? It, it seems more like the way your doctor touches your damn skull would have an effect on your personality more than a star would. Do I have a scar from the C-section? Oh shit. On my, yeah, because the doctor was like drunk apparently. Back was, in Russia. Because <laughs> I think the rules are just so, well, it's, it's affecting you now. Why aren't the planets affecting me in here? Now the thing's cut and, oh, no, now the planets, zoop, now I mean, it's That's an interesting you. question. I think it doesn't make the whole astrology thing invalid because it's patterns. Like Pisces are just, they cry their eyes out all the time. That's not true, but like there's like certain patterns that you see. Why do you think like, you know, on Instagram, you'll see those like, oh, sign memes. And it's like, oh, like the sign does this because like people can relate to it. Now, here's the last thing I'll say. I'm not an astronomer or like, I don't know about this stuff. This is what I researched. Maybe you'll research it too, maybe not. So the earth, obviously, as you know, is on a little axis and it's tilted. And these are the stars and constellations. At the time, the original signs were established the stars were at a certain place in the sky basically stars planets etc since then the earth has shifted on its axis so it's not at the same place it used to be when the original signs were created it's changed a little bit so now all the stars and constellations aren't in the same place that they used to be at the inception of the signs so it's all different so i think everyone's sign actually isn't their real sign it's actually mm -hmm. one before or behind so you're saying whatever your aries or whatever it was but you're not actually that you're actually whatever it was mm -hmm. back in the olden day there's like a different like astrology thing like, so right that doesn't that blow the whole lid off the whole thing yeah but you still believe in it i still believe in it you know what and I have to say? Glasses is over, guys. No, astrology and believing in these kinds of things is cheaper than therapy. So I feel True. like girls find their reasoning for a lot of like the things like a guy might do or a friend might do. Like they justify their actions because a lot of the things like I would do are not the same as you. And that might justify like, okay, this person maybe acted this way because of blah, blah, blah. It makes it easier, honest girls. Men and women are fundamentally different. You think different, operate different, everything's different. Women are more emotional creatures. There's a reason that more girls ask what your sign is. It's not just because random. I think there's a reason. Like you just said, it's almost more fun and it's more comforting for it a woman. It connects the dots. Mm -hmm, to, to rationalize, well, I'm like this because my emotions. Because what is it? It's all about character traits. And women are inherently more emotional than men. Men don't care about how feelings or, oh, Oh, you're really outgoing. Nope. Typically, men don't care about stuff like that. It's a way for women to rationalize their emotions and their relationships, etc. how they interact with people. I think that's why people are so into it. I think it's more of like an educational thing. Like I listen to things like on YouTube actually that just kind of like explain the psychology behind things and I feel like astrology does that. Okay, this is why this person's doing this, but like it gives the stars as a reasoning, but mm -hmm. in reality, it's just like you said, normal like human common traits. It gives like a, more of an explanation than you would just like sitting there thinking oh he's a piece of shit because he's doing blah 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 is rhino mad at me because he's like a really mean guy no it's probably because like this happened and then based on his sign this is how he reacts it justifies us and makes us feel calmer have you ever heard of the concept of cognitive dissonance yes occurs when a person holds contradictory beliefs, ideas, or values, and is typically experienced as psychological stress when they participate in an action that goes against one or more of them. According to this theory, when two actions or ideas are not psychologically consistent with each other, people do all their power to change them until they become consistent. So essentially, if I told you pancakes are dinner food, you would be like, no, it's not. You would agree that pancakes are for breakfast. However, I keep telling you, no, it's a, there's no way you're ever gonna meet me and say, you know, 
know what? They are for dinner because um, it's not consistent with your core beliefs. It's a core belief that you think pancakes are for breakfast and there's nobody's gonna tell you any different. I think the same thing happens with astrology is when I would tell people, what about this and what about that? People will make any rationalization possible to stick to their belief. That's what's happening but here. But I feel like that also comes with like patterns. Like it's like, okay, I've seen this pattern happen so many times that like I believe there is, like I'm not like, oh my God, the whole world relies on like astrologies and signs. And I think it's just kind of like religion. It helps us rationalize. I, I was gonna ask us, you, like, you know, are you religious? Yeah, Russian Orthodox. Russian Orthodox. <laughs> Russian Orthodox, it's very common. If somebody were to tell you God's not real, what do you say to that? To me, he is real. So mm -hmm. that doesn't, like, I think, like... Would you try to convince somebody? No, of, like, if you don't believe in astrology, there's no reason of convincing you. But, like, to me, it's like I had an open mind when I, like, started looking into it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not all of it is completely accurate all the time. If someone believes in something and it helps them have a peace of mind, then... Yeah. What's, what's wrong with that? It, exactly. What happens if you challenge someone's religion or, or say, well, then why does this happen? Well, then why is that? Somebody who's super, super religious, they will justify why their religion is real by any means necessary. They'll say, if this is real, then why do ever, why do so many people die? Well, because of this and that, and that. Okay, well then why did this happen? If your thing is good, why does bad things happen? Well, that's because of this and that. And I think that's what cognitive dissonance is. Granted, like you said, if it helps somebody sleep at night, yeah, what does yeah. it matter? I'm not here to crush dreams and like, it's not based in science. Mm -hmm. There's so many things I believe that aren't backed by science. I believe in like energy otherworldly shit that you can't explain. Or is it, <laughs> or is are happening right now? <laughs> There's a conclusion here. There's no sense in giving somebody a hard time or bullying somebody or whatever about something that doesn't really affect you at all. And if they're just happier doing it, then eh, let them do it. You look up compatibility like shit. If someone's a Scorpio or cancer, hit me up. <laughs> and then it makes a new friend. I think it's good to have respectful discourse on things. You just make good progress by doing that. People get mad at me though. When I challenge them, they get angry at me. But you didn't get angry. It's probably because you're an Aries. I'm not an Aries. I'm a Capricorn inside. And what am I? Like your moon sign or your... Give me my main sign. If she gets it right, I'll believe in astrology. I'm gonna go with Virgo. Um, that's right. Really? Yeah. Hey, uh... <laughs> you just act a lot like my mom. And then Alexis is also... I think she's rising and moon Virgo. So why don't me and her get along? So that's, that's the end of the video. <laughs>